Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Happy Power Channel. Today's date is 3 27 2020, and today we have for you guys today's daily news refresh. Now, before we get there, of course, I have the giveaway winner. You guys requested to actually show them in the video, so yesterday's giveaway winner is this guy in the background video. So, Chilled Aura is today's giveaway winner. When I read his comment, I absolutely just was like heartbroken because this man seems to be struggling, but at the same time, you know, video games are everyone's escape and he wasn't able to actually get a skin. So obviously I want to give back to this guy in particular, but do not worry guys, I will give away a skin every single video. And I thought this would actually be a very good idea, but leave your comments down below and what you guys think about this. Um, every single day, obviously there's usually a new skin or something like that. So Every time there's a new skin in the item shop, I'll give away at least one of those to you guys in the comments below. So if you guys like this idea, like today's video and comment down below if this is a great idea. And if there's a new skin in the item shop you guys would actually want, also leave that in your comment below. Now with all that out of the way, let's just hop directly into today's Fortnite topics. So coming directly from Shinna Batariel, he just said this. Patch V12.30 has been added to the staging slash test servers. This means it will release 99% next week. Alright guys, so V12.30 should be out next week, and guys, also next week is April Fools. I do believe Epic Games will most likely take advantage of this and pretty much completely troll us in the Fortnite community, and probably say the Renegade Raiders returning, or some other crazy stuff like that, so don't be surprised if Epic Games does in fact do this. Uh, we've seen this numerous times in the past, unfortunately not last year, but I do believe considering the game is quite dead at the moment, they're probably going to try to hop on this and give us some sort of weird surprise slash troll. So definitely something to look forward to. Also to add to that, Hypex actually said this. 12.30 update is timed perfectly with April 1st. Hopefully we get something unlike last year. So you guys can most definitely tell, yeah, last year we did not get anything, but for this year it does perfectly line up, so we should be expecting something actually quite funny. And hopefully it's something like a new skin returning or some sort of like uh, planes returning or something like that, because that would be actually completely hilarious to see the pro community react to that. And speaking of the pro community, coming directly from Benji Fish, he tweeted this out a few days ago, but I forgot to cover this. They changed solo cash cup prize money to $5,000 for winning first. So obviously the competitive side has definitely seen a major hit, because a lot of the Fortnite pros have now been quitting over the past 24 hours and even the past couple of weeks. And there's even rumors that Nick Merckx actually might be quitting as well, so... This is definitely pretty significant. We see a lot of big people in the community that are now leaving Fortnite to go on to different games such as Call of Duty, uh, Valorant is coming out soon, and stuff like that. And I think I just said that wrong. Valorant? Valorant? I forget what's even called. Let me see really quickly. Yeah, Valorant, I guess. So that's probably what most pros are going to try to get themselves into considering it's a new game, as well as Call of Duty, uh, new Battle Royale. People really like that one. So obviously Fortnite needs to do something. So upping the cash prizes as well as probably releasing some new updates in this upcoming update as well as a live event will probably revive the game almost entirely. Now if you guys have came from yesterday's video or are a returning subscriber, you guys most likely know in yesterday's video we covered Travis Scott. So that also is a major possibility that we should be seeing some new leaks in 12.30. So definitely a lot to look forward to, make sure you guys are in fact subscribed with notifications on to win some giveaways and also to keep up to date with everything Fortnite related over the past 24 hours every single day. It takes a lot of work, but guys, it's honestly the most fun I have every single day, so thank you guys so much for all the support, and let's get to our next Fortnite topic. So today is a new challenge set for Deadpool, so you guys can actually unlock a free wrap, and here's a little cheat sheet in the background video. It's honestly extremely simple uh, to actually unlock the black marker. It is actually just on Brutus's desk within the agent tab and then for the actual defacing of these posters. Again, very simple. Just go to Salty Springs or Holly Hedges and there's four different posters you guys can choose from. Now you only need three of these so that's actually pretty cool as well. And I suggest you guys stay tuned for the end of the video to see me actually unlock these in the game in case you guys cannot find the direct locations. Now speaking of Deadpool, Firemonkey found out that Deadpool is currently floating within his actual room while he's trying to fix his broken pipes. So if you time it perfectly and actually pause it, like in Sony Vegas or a different editing software, it actually shows Deadpool is not on the ground but he is floating in the air while fixing the broken pipe that is currently uh, playing in his office. So pretty funny stuff right there, Epic Games thought we wouldn't see this but yeah we most definitely did. Moving into our next Fortnite topic, coming directly from Arc Ops, he said this. We will probably see the Fresh Fist Harvesting Tool in today's item shop. And yes guys, this is actually part of the Contract Gillers outfit slash set. So it will be sold separately, I do not know how much money it will be, probably about uh, 1200 V-Bucks, aka $12 USD, so 
This also has a very good animation to it. It's like very like uh, floppy looking. So upon actually using it, the animations are actually extremely smooth. And if I have a clip, I'll definitely put it in the background video. But I've seen this a few times and it's actually pretty awesome. So this should be out tonight to actually add to Contract Gilder's outfit set. Moving into our next Fortnite topic coming directly from Fire Monkey, he just tweeted this out. I forgot to mention this, but, but this backline was either encrypted or removed from the files recently. And this is actually based around this in the background video, which of course was the pickaxe back blings. The closest thing we have to this is pulling the pickaxe out from Brutus' back bling. However, this one worked like the original loading screen where any pickaxe you had was on your back while firing your weapon. So unfortunately, it looks like this is currently scrapped or encrypted for them to actually work on it more. I really hope it's just simply encrypted because this is actually extremely awesome style. I absolutely like the way this looks and I think it's actually extremely clean. Now many pro players might not want this because you guys can most definitely tell the pickaxe actually is above your head. So when you guys are trying to peek over, you would basically see where their head is going to be located due to their pickaxe. So, I do understand both sides of this, and I'm sure a lot of you guys did not think about that, but leave your comments down below, are you worried about this particular situation? Moving into our next Fortnite topic, coming directly from Fire Monkey. once again, he said this. For those who want more XP and stuff in the future this season, keep in mind there is a challenge set in the works right now that has 5 challenges as of this week. This challenge set relates to Peely being a spy. Quest bundle underscore event underscore season 12 underscore Peely spy. So it looks like we are still waiting on another challenge shed for Peely's skin. So more XP abilities right there. Also coming directly from Fire Monkey, he tweeted out all the bug fixes and 12.30. So we have general top issues, a uh, fix in the next game update, competitive side, workaround included, tournament scores are visually incorrect in lobby and in match, battle royale top issues, spy games stuck on select tech screen, style selections for certain locker items not saving, Harpoon gun not catching loot consistently, uh, auto pickup not functioning properly, Deadpool plunger not visible on 4.3 aspect ratio, creative mode top issues, interactive UI not functioning properly when using the quick menu on mobile, save the world issues, defender eliminations do not count towards quest credit, spawn rate for love lobbers is too high during encounters, love lobbers projectiles are able to damage player built structures, mobile top issues, black bar displayed on note 10 plus. And now for our last and final topic and yes save the best for last so we actually have some brand new leaked items. So Hypex just said this, a surfing glider is now in the works, probably for the summer, and two other synced emotes too, glider code name, template surfer and surf style. So it looks like we have two brand new emotes as well as a new glider in which I stand on top of like a surfboard. It's very similar to Tian Tina's uh, pretty much glider itself so definitely a lot of great stuff to look forward to and this is actually a sneak preview at the 14 days of summer. So leave your comments down below. Are you guys hyped for the 14 days of summer and of course this brand new surfing glider in which you guys stand on top of. Now as far as today's video goes, unfortunately that's all we have for you guys as of right now. I encourage you guys to like today's video to enter today's giveaway as well as, well as leave a comment down below on what skin you guys actually want if you do win the giveaway itself. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's videos and as always, stay happy and have a great day.